Hello community welcome to a new story titled, My Girlfriend Cheated on Me When I Was Out of the Country and I Work With Her. Well let's get started, and don't forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. I am 23 years old and had been dating a 22 year old girl for 5 months, I was ridiculously committed to this girl for how little we were together. I would have done just about anything for her, probably to a fault. I also worked with her, which I realized was my first mistake, before we started dating she helped me plan my first trip out of the country. Then things start picking up and we are spending lots of time with each other. I was 100% in love with this girl. This trip was to be all of June, we began dating in January. June rolls around I head out for Chile. Had a great time. I was always calling, sending pictures, checking in, and halfway through my trip I arranged for flowers to be delivered to her at work. Three days later, she has a bad day at work and I'm in the middle of nowhere with bad phone service. And he decides to go out to a bar, get drunk, take undressed pictures of himself in the bar and post them on the internet. This is very different from her, I notice a lot of people post unclothed photos all the time, after getting kicked out of the bar she calls her ex-boyfriend for a ride home. He made a move and kissed her in the car before she got out. This is what she told me the next morning. I could tell she was being dishonest, but I chalked it up to paranoia and trusted her word. I return home a week later. Having forgiven the mistake we decide to work on growing from the situation. One month later our communication gets terrible, I start feeling like she's lying about some unknown issue every time I talk to her. I did not connect the two at all as I thought we had moved past that. We talk and she pushes for a mutual breakup because our communication is bad and she doesn't know how to fix it. She also blames me for being controlling and nosy by asking her what she's lying about. We break up. A week later I start feeling like it wasn't really mutual and we can work through a communication problem. After I go and tell her how much I love her and think we can work it out, she tells me she lied to me, and she slept with her ex that night. In our bed. Now I must work with her. She has no intention of transferring or finding a new job, and I just received a promotion and would like to pursue this job for the time being. I am her superior at work now. We work in a restaurant, this is important as it's very different than many work environments. Always working very closely with each other. It's been two months since I found out. I still can't stand speaking to her or seeing her at all. She told me I should be over it by now, it's been two months. But I'm just not. I ignore her for the most part unless work related. Has anyone experienced working with an unfaithful ex-partner? Please tell me how you got over it and share any experiences with me and the community. Every bit helps. Thank you very much for reading through this 3. TLDR girlfriend cheated on me when I was in on vacation. Lied for a month, and now I'm her boss at work. Please help. Comments. 1. Firstly, she sounds delightful, a real winner. You haven't known her long, be happy you see her true colors now, rather than after even more wasted time. Keep interaction at a minimum and professional at work. Don't let her get to you. Moving on and being happy is the best revenge. OP. Oh yes so delightful lol. I try my best to keep interaction to a minimum, I slip up sometimes. But you're right just focusing on being the best I can be is about all I should be doing. 2. First it's not up to her as to whether you should be over anything. I wouldn't talk to her except professionally. Grey rock her on a personal level. At some point she will want to talk. But I would inform her that personal matters need to be discussed on personal time. Then you don't have to be available to her. If she pushes you can tell her you are trying to heal and she is not helping. OP, I had never heard of the grey rock technique before, thank you for enlightening me. I will be reading a lot about this and how to apply it to my life. This was very helpful thank you. Also yes I felt the same way, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to get over it if I didn't have to her see her goofy a asterisk asterisk. 3. You dodged a bullet by not investing any more serious relations with her. Get STD tested and let her know, it will probably tick her off enough that she doesn't talk to you anymore. Good luck. OP, I have a cold sore on my lip from a recent unrelated intimate encounter. Not my finest days. I suppose it is related, I normally don't sleep around but I was a little vulnerable and lonely as you can imagine. What did you think about this story? Also, do not forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. Greetings. Second story. I am having a hard time being faithful to my unfaithful wife, I need advice. I am 32 and going through a difficult time and have mixed feelings about my marriage to my wife of 35. We also have two children. A little backstory, our marriage was perfect and we were a perfect couple. College sweethearts who got married and were living the best life. I am an IT consultant by profession and have my own business but also do modeling for small brands. 
Modeling was my passion and I had looks and body to become one so I pursued it. My wife has been working in small law firm. We were happy and whenever we fought, we made up for it and never went to sleep angry at each other. A month ago, I was ordering some food from my wife's phone and a message popped up. Kissing emojis and text stating, I miss your body. That was the first time I snooped through my wife's phone. I was devastated to see their chats and pics they sent to each other. I straight away confronted her and all the drama started. Crying, sobbing, and saying, it meant nothing. I told her to give me every detail on when this affair started and every detail. Turns out she had been having this affair with her co-worker for two months and they got physical from last three days. I was feeling numb and just wanted to be away from everyone. I told her I'm going and went for a drive. She just bombarded my phone with calls and messages. I stayed at a hotel the night and went for the shoot from there. After returning home, I saw that she was in a terrible state. As soon as she saw me, she started crying ugly again and apologized and kept begging for reconciliation. I thought that would be not so difficult and made my terms clear for her for reconciliation. She left her job, went NC with her co-worker and became Sam and did everything right. She started IC, but there is always this image in my head of her affair and it's eating me away. My constant support system has been, my modeling partner, Anna. Since the affair, I have started hanging out with her more and more and have vented out everything with her. Me and her started having deep convos and just spent almost every hour of the day together except night time where I have to go back to my house. Yesterday, we were hanging out in Anna's house and were having drinks a little extra. I suddenly had this mind image of my wife's affair and in panic, I started making out with Anna. One thing led to another and we had relationships. My wife has been doing everything right and has been the best wife one can get for the past month. I love my wife dearly and when I'm with her, she makes me feel extra special but I have this constant reminder of her actions through mind images and at that moment, I have difficulty being faithful to my wife. I don't know what to do after yesterday's incident. I don't know if I should tell my wife about yesterday's incident. She has always been jealous of my modeling partners. Any advice on what I should do? I'm afraid that if these images kept coming to mind, I would screw up again. And should I tell my wife about Anna? Edit, my wife made her decision to be a Sam and I just asked her to switch jobs. And I know I've messed up, but I don't have the courage to tell her, I want this marriage to work. Any suggestions on how to tell her, opinions? 1. If you want to reconcile and fix your marriage, then yes, you need to tell your wife and take full responsibility for what you did. Like her, you need to not rationalize what you did and admit that you made a bad decision, even if it was because you were hurt. If you want to save your marriage, be honest with your wife, don't hide the details and go and see with Anna, if possible, switch sectors. Do what you demanded of your wife. But if you don't want to make up anyway, tell your wife and don't withhold details, give her the choice to stop trying to win you back and move on. 2. We would never let a WS come here, tell us they slept with someone, and give them a choice about telling their BS or not. The advice here is unilaterally to tell the truth. Whether or not you want to reconcile, we always tell people that their partners deserve the truth. I would be really upset to see us give different advice here because the BS was a WS, too. OP. This is a reconciliation-based sub but that doesn't mean we say all reconciliations have to mean the marriage survives. Many have stories here of trying their best but just deciding the relationship had died. It's a very personal choice, no matter of facts good or bad ever completely determine it. So much depends on how much you and your wife want to stay together and what work you're willing to do to make that happen. If you want any hope for your marriage you must do the NC thing just like your wife. Perhaps you even have to give up your passion for a bit and focus on the IT work, just like your wife gave up years invested into becoming a lawyer so she could focus on her with you. If you're done then tell the truth and be done. But do not keep a secret. That will haunt you forever. 3. I believe that you at this moment don't trust her. You have to understand that cheating is not just cheating but is a lot more, it's the break of the trust, the emasculating, for the man, it's the lies, is the time spend, is the what did I do wrong, what could I do better, etc. Most of the cheated don't really understand that for when so cheats it's not just the cheating, it's all the time invested on the other person, if so cheated during 3 months then it's 3 months where she invested time, money, trust and all things to the other person and not her partner. If it's six months it's the same, all the time invested in the other person, and all the lies, most likely the gaslight, the abuse, everything involved. Now if you want to recover with her it's all about communication and truth, so I believe that you should tell her, if you do not want to her then also tell her straight. No BS no lies, just communicate the truth, she cheated on you but you also revenge cheated on her, if you want try talking about it on the marriage counseling, so you have a neutral three party present.
but be ready for divorce or reconciliation at all force, if you can't go all in then go all out, don't drag it, if you, and so don't want to invest all then it won't work. 4. Brother, you have complicated it. You had one shot to take the high road and you didn't. If you have any dignity and self-respect you'll tell her. You'll take what's coming. This might be the end of your marriage, it is what it is now. You chose revenge and all the pain and destruction that comes with it. Make no mistake, revenge is a dish best not served at all. What did you think about this story? Also, do not forget to stay tuned for new stories and updates. Greetings.